Hi everybody, I am going to be making one of these. This is a traveler's notebook envelope insert and I showed this in the video where I did the flip through of this. This is a personal sized Chic Sparrow. It is the Odyssey leather in the color Athena and I had made this to put in here and I will link that video up at the top and in the description if uh, you want to get a more detailed look at this particular setup. So I, I made this because I wanted a place to keep all of these like loose bits, uh, like sticker flakes and just other types of ephemera and things. So I just cobbled this thing together. And it has surprisingly worked out a lot better than I thought it would. But I know it's pretty self-explanatory, but it just kind of goes around one of the strings in a traveler's notebook. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to make another one. And I'm going to actually make it in a pocket size, I think. I can never get this thing out. Okay, so I'm going to make one in pocket size, and I'm going to put it in here. This is another Chic Sparrow, but it is in the Waypoint in the Rustic Brown color. I'm just going to make this different size because, like, the small pieces that I have in here, they tend to, like, clump and cluster together so that the thickness of this is not evenly distributed. So I'm hoping if I go with a smaller size, it will kind of, you know, help evenly distribute the bulk that's in here. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think it would be fun to actually have this just full of these folders only and just have this be a place where I store all of the loose bits that I have. Um, I don't know. We're just going to try it out. It could fail, but whatever. Um, you know, I, I like to experiment and kind of do things like this. So anyway, uh, I don't have like specific measurements and things because this, the idea of this and the technique can be applied across all sizes. Um, I think basically what you need is just to have either the specific measurement that you want or to have a notebook or a dashboard or something of the size that you want as a guide. So pocket size is three and a half inches by five and a half inches. And that's pretty much what this dashboard measures out to. This is just a Chic Sparrow dashboard. Uh, so I'm just gonna use this as my size guide. And I made this one out of vellum. I just like ordered a pack off Amazon. It's just clear vellum and um, since I had it on hand, I decided to use it because I wanted something that was transparent because I knew I was going to have a lot of bits in there and I wanted to be able to kind of glance at it and see what was contained in each side here. So, um, also I thought vellum would be like thinner than cardstock and just, you know, have less bulk and, you know, it, it's coming apart pretty good, but... Um, it's mostly at the spine. I was actually worried about like these edges and the constant opening and closing of this and it's actually held up much better than I thought and I don't really have anything else on hand that I think would be appropriate for this so I'm just gonna go with the vellum again and I have two sheets of vellum. It's just the eight and a half by eleven just standard sheet size and it does, well, when I made the personal size, it took two sheets to make this one personal size, I believe. Um, I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. Uh, so I'm just, I have my two sheets and I'm gonna make it in the pocket. So uh, I think I'm just gonna like tell you what I'm about to do and then like cut to the finished uh, part of that uh, just to save time. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to actually fold the paper in half because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
there are seven different pieces that need to be cut out and then I just glued them all together to create this. So the first piece is just this entire solid back piece and it actually has flaps here and up here and down here. So I am going to fold this in half. Okay, so there it is, just folded in half. I just have this around the spine and I'm just gonna trace out this square. Okay, so I've, I've traced the front and on the back and I've done it this way because you could, you could just, like trace it like this, um, but I was worried about it not folding correctly. Anyway, basically get your shape onto the paper kind of in the middle of it because I leave room all the way around to have the flaps, like these flaps and then these flaps at the bottom that you fold over. So what I'm gonna do now is create notches in all of the corners uh, so that I can create the flaps that fold over. Okay, so here is the paper and you can see where I've cut out all of the notches. So it's basically this, right? So these flaps on the ends are going to create the closure part. So the, this part where you can put any kind of like adhesive or anything that you want to secure the envelope flap. I used these velcro dots but they're very bulky so i'm trying to think of a different way to uh be able to secure this flap so i'm not going to actually do velcro dots on this one for now until i figure something better out or um you guys share any ideas that you may have about that okay so now that we have the kind of base what um and just fyi I like to have these uh, flaps long, but these ones I will probably trim up because all these are going to do is secure this envelope piece. So they don't need to be like this big. So I am now actually going to trim up uh, the tops and the bottom flaps. I only really want them to be like, um, an inch, I suppose. Um, they don't need to be that big. Yeah, I think I'm just going to measure an inch and slice these down. Okay, now there is obviously a much more refined and thoughtful way to do this, but this is just kind of how I end up creating things. And I've seen people take that, uh, the folder insert for uh, in my five year Hobonichi video and make like these really awesome schematics from it and like a, like blueprints and stuff. And, um, like people just made really beautiful things out of that. So feel free to do the same here and actually make something that's a bit more coherent. So uh, these uh, closure flaps, I'm gonna call them, um, I like to leave them big. Uh, these flaps at the top and the bottom, I've just measured them out to be an inch and just sliced off the rest. So I'm actually gonna fold all of these flaps on these lines. Um, so this is folded this way and all of these flaps need to be folded inward. So these inward as well. All 
all right so i have everything folded so the second piece to this is uh this folder piece um these edge pieces are also separate pieces but for now i'm just going to make the actual folder piece so what that is it's just another piece that's folded in half it's just the size of the inside of this so it looks like if i take this page and fold it halfway i can actually get both pieces out of this so <laughs> another very crude way of doing it because i'm just literally going to fold it like this and then just chop off the excess so it needs to be the size of this inside portion so i'm literally gonna lay this on here and i don't want it like extremely flush to these edges so i'm gonna go like pull it towards the middle just a bit and mark it where I want to cut. So I'm marking at this crease. And since it's vellum, I can see right through it. Apologies if you are using <laughs> opaque paper, um, then you're really going to need to actually like measure the width and measure the length of this inside part and then make those measurements on your paper. Um, otherwise, you can eyeball everything just like me. So I've just made a mark here for the length and then a mark on the side here for the um, width. So now I'm just going to slice those. Okay, so this one should be to size. So it actually fits quite nicely in there. And this one may be a little bit long, so I'm going to mark this. When I made this personal sized one, I found myself um, like just trimming off, you know, little tiny slivers of excess just to get everything, you know, to fit in each other correctly. So, I mean, it doesn't, um, you know, there's ways to fix it. If your measurements are a little bit off, it's like totally fine. Um, okay, so now I have these two pieces they're the same size so their spines will face each other like this and they will go in to here like that so what we're gonna make the last four pieces um that are actually like the edges right here that create the the accordion effect so you can kind of get an idea here of what's what's going to happen. So, you know, these are going to fold over. So are these. And then with the accordion pieces, you'll be able to like open this and then you have your closure. So that's like the general idea. So for the edge pieces that um, create the accordion effect, um, you since I measured these to be an inch, I need them to be three times whatever measurement this flap is because it's going to fold like an accordion. So I am going to make a three inch piece. And what do you know? I actually need a third piece of vellum. So it does, well, for me anyway, it's taking three sheets of vellum to make just one of these folders. Okay, third, third piece. So, okay, so I'm just gonna take the inside folder piece and I'm just going to measure the width here and mark it on this paper because all four pieces are going to need to be this same width. So I've just marked it off and I'm just gonna make a cut down the whole length of this paper. Okay, so now I have this strip that is the same width as these inside pieces. So uh, because this flap is an inch on all four of these, I want to make it three times that amount. So however big you have made this, just multiply it by three and cut those sections out of the strip that you have. So I'm gonna measure out three inches. Okay. 
Okay, so I wanted to just check it on here. So my, uh, what is this? My slicer? So when I've marked three inches, um, I find that the edge of the paper comes to this line right here. So I'm just going to cut all four pieces this way. I'm not going to mark each one. Um, I hope I have enough. Womp. Okay, that's not three inches, so I'm going to have to cut another piece out. <laughs> Okay, so I believe this is everything that you need. So, so I've got the four squares here. I guess they're kind of square, but they're three inch pieces. I have these two kind of uh, folded pieces that go on the inside. And then I have the uh, large piece that kind of holds everything together. So, the first thing that I'm going to do, since these pieces are already nicely folded and ready to get glued down, I'm gonna go ahead and accordion fold all of these. So I just wanna make sure, make sure you accordion fold them the right way. So they need to be, so this is the length. So the folds need to be this way. So I'm just gonna make two folds so that I have three sides. And I didn't really make this like super perfect. So there's one fold and so this other fold is going to be back, right? Like that. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think these have to be precise. I mean, okay, it's gonna be so much easier if things are really precise, but I just, I don't care that much, so. I'm just um, eyeballing it, which is totally fine. Um, when I made the personal sized one, it wasn't an issue that I was eyeballing these things. Um, you know, nothing was catastrophic. Nothing was like totally off uh, that I couldn't, you know, like end up tweaking or fixing or whatever. So I think it just really matters that you have all of the components here, that you have all of these pieces. Okay, so I have these all accordion folded and I'm just gonna take a peek at this and see how I did it. Okay, so all I have is my Tombow permanent adhesive little roller thing. And that's what I used for this. And it does look kinda, kinda weird because you can see the the glue tape through the vellum since it's clear. Like you can see all the strips that I put down everywhere. So, you know, feel free to use something that's gonna look nicer. I have no idea what else you could use, but you're all a bunch of creative people and you have so many things to work with. So I'd love to see what you guys end up coming up with. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put glue on this side and glue these down onto the back part here. And this piece is like slightly smaller than here, so I'm gonna put the glue on here. That way there's no exposed glue like hanging out everywhere. So I can already tell I'm going to have to cut a little bit more out of these notches because, so anyway, th this is how it should look, right? So you should have it glued down on the backs there. So what's gonna happen is these flaps are gonna have to fold in here, but you can see, um, I ran into this problem before because because I'm not precise. So learn learn from me, don't do that. So when that folds down, this is gonna kind of like pull like that. So this cut needs to be made 
more in to line up with the, this edge, uh, this spine here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for both of these since I have both of these glued in now and I know where this, these notches need to go. Okay, so not the prettiest, but you get the idea. So now when I fold this in, it's going to close really nicely on there. So yeah, if you're, if you just work on this more precisely than I have, you won't have to like make this extra notch. But like I said, it's not a big deal. If you end up running into that issue, it's no big deal to just like make a bigger notch, you know? So you don't have to like scrap the whole thing. So I'm going to have to do it on this side as well. All right, that's good enough for me. So I messed this up one time, like when I made my first version of that. So, so let's see. So what I'm gonna do is, okay. So I'm gonna fold out this flap and I'm actually gonna put the glue all over here. Okay, so I'm taking the accordion piece and I'm just putting it down like this. You just want to make sure that the edge of this is not far past this spine. You want it to be right on the spine or a little in. So just gonna do that and glue it like that. So now that is attached like that. So you're gonna just fold it like that, close this over, and then glue this part down. So I am going to put glue right here. So this is the accordion, and I'm just gonna put glue down on this last bit here. Okay, so I'm going to fold that over. Hold that. And actually before I do that, because this is what I messed up before, I kind of, I glued down this whole side and I didn't glue down. Um, so I glued down this whole side first and then it was a little bit difficult to get this side because this was all like not, not giving me the room to lift it up. So I'm actually going to take this end and glue it down to this flap in the same way. Okay, so here's the other accordion, and I'm just going to lay it in here and fold this flap over. Okay, so now they're both glued down, and just like I put tape right there, I'm going to put the glue tape over here. So these glued areas are going on the top of this piece here. So I'm just gonna kind of fold both of them in, put that piece down like that and just fold both of these edges over. So that one and then that one. Okay, so that creates the accordion. So now there's this pocket and it has this a flap closure and I will go ahead and just quickly do this other side off camera. Okay, so I have the other side glued down too. So now I've got this accordion folder on each side and I did say I'm not going to put any kind of uh, Velcro or adhesive or anything on here until I can find something that's less bulky than, than Velcro. So, um, like my measurements were slightly off, so it's kind of like bulky. So it doesn't matter if things aren't going to lie completely flat because mine has kind of like a wave to it because the point of this is to hold bulk. So it's never supposed to lie completely flat anyway. So, so it's very forgiving in that way that you don't have to have everything exactly precise. Um, so I'm going to put it in here and see how we fare. 
And, um, you know, I, I think I said this earlier, but I don't really have anything else other than vellum that was a good option for me to use. So I am so curious to know uh, what you guys think would be a really good type of paper to use for something like this to keep things uh, slim. So the paper needs to be like really slim to prevent lots of bulk, but it also needs to be durable. Um, and I think that's where I'm stuck is I've got like thinner papers, but they're not durable in the least. So I'm going to try it in here. I'll just stick it on this. Yay. Okay. Well, I mean, that is a really, really good fit. I have my strings really loose because I was using this as my wallet. So yeah, so that works awesome. I could totally see this whole thing just being filled with this, with these types of, of inserts. So um, I hope that was helpful. I, I always say this, but I'm not like a tutorial kind of person. So um, I always feel like I'm leaving details out and stuff. I'm sorry there's no like specific measurements for this. But honestly, if you just have the size that you're going for just use that for right here and then you know the sizes of your flaps don't matter too too much and then you just want to make sure that the accordion piece is just three times what you need so you know my flap was an inch so then I just did three inches and then accordion folded it to that and I think you can make this uh this these bottom flaps and these top flaps an inch across all sizes. Um, I don't think that should change. Um, it might be difficult trying to make this in like uh, in the bigger size, like standard wide and A5 because I just used, you know, one solid piece to make this backing piece that kind of holds everything together. Um, so I don't know. I would just be curious to see how you guys kind of take this and adapt it and make it yours. Um, if you do try something in this vein, I would love, love, love for you to tag me on Instagram um, or just comment below with like a link or something. Um, I, I would love to see what you guys create out of something like this. Um, if you have any questions, please just leave them down below and then I will try, you know, to give you any specifics that you would like. Um, but in any case, I think that's it from me. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again soon. Bye.